Okay, I haven't done a video in a couple of weeks. I've been uh, kind of busy, but I have been playing with this um, Turbulence XL spinner by Damn Designs, and uh, I've been playing with it quite a bit actually. It's really fun. It's got, uh, I was a little bit critical of the original Turbulence because I thought it felt too light. And uh, this one, the uh, XL version, the, the big version is just really perfect for me. It's got enough weight to it and it's one of those spinners that you don't miss. You know, you, you catch it every time and get a nice spin out of it. I've got it in copper, of course, which is my preference. Um, this thing I can before I haven't tested it yet. I haven't tested it for spin time, but uh, I'm going to do that soon here. And uh, but just to play with, this is one that's really good, and they still have them available on the website. So I'm looking forward to a good long spin times on this one. I hope we get that. But even if it doesn't get that, it's still a really nice spinner to have. Um, it came with two bearings. It had one installed which didn't have any markings on it. I don't, I don't know what that bearing was. I have a feeling it was a, meant to be a smoother bearing or a more quiet bearing, but it, it also came with an FZ Essential um, SB, B, SBV2 bearing, which I decided uh, would probably be the longer spinning bearing, so I put that one in the in this so I'm basing it on I'm gonna be basing the testing on the super bearing version 2 by FC essential which you get one of each one one of those with this and also another one which is seemed to be a, a smoother quieter bearing but probably wouldn't run as long so I'm going for the long spinning bearing with what I think to be the long spinning bearing um, so we're gonna test this one out and see how long it spins I think it's gonna go pretty well it's got some good weight to it and it is really good to play with so let's get on with the testing So the Turbulence XL um, didn't spin that long terribly. Um, it only got an average spin time of 4 minutes and 23 seconds. Um, was a little bit longer vertically than horizontally, as you'd expect. And I think the reason it has something to do with the spinner's name, Turbulence, it kicks up a lot of uh, air. Um, so it's it's just not the most terribly aerodynamic spinner in the world. Um, so what happens is when I spin it up real fast, it slows down real fast, and then when it gets going slowly, it go, it goes on for a good a good amount of time. So that's probably not a big hindrance for playing with it. And uh, like I said before, I think this is one of the most fun spinners that I've had in a long time. I gave it a very high. Uh, subjective rating of 9.5 because uh, the appearance I think is great and the feel is great and uh, the perceived quality is very good also so on uh, spin time it only got a score of 6 out of 10 for its 4 minutes and 23 seconds not a lot of variability in the spin time though so it didn't get penalized much and ended up, ended up with an overall score of 7.35 which qualifies it as a very good spinner. Um, I don't. Th I didn't try any other bearings in it. I don't think that you're going to get much faster times than that, based on how I saw it performing in the, in the spin test. It looks like it's just going to slow down quickly when it's at high speeds. So, but you don't get those really high speeds when you're actually playing with it with your hands. So it doesn't really matter that much. So this is uh, this is one that I really like. It's one of my new favorites and I'm gonna keep this one out and play with it a lot. So that's the Turbulence XL in copper.